Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby. We're on the cook. We are on the cook. What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another video. Six hours. We have six hours to accomplish the mission that we have in front of us today. But before we do anything, we're gonna start up a little bit of a barista session because hey, what is a morning without a coffee? We're gonna smash a coffee and we're gonna get kicked in. Six hour challenge. This is gonna be extremely bloody hard, but very, very, very fun. And the time has just gone eight o'clock in the morning. So from this point right now, we have six hours to gather food along this coastline. We can walk kilometers that way. We can walk kilometers that way, but we have the next six hours to sort of gather ourselves as much food as we possibly can. The aim of the game is to cook the food on that little fire we started this morning. That water looks like it's boiling. It doesn't take long around these parts for water. Look at that. That water is boiling absolutely bloody beautifully. Let's go and get a cup. Let's get some coffee. We've got six hours to catch a fish, find a fish, find something to eat along this epic, epic coastline. Woo! That is so bloody hot. All right, this is gonna be a bloody fun little challenge. I've actually got a pretty important meeting this afternoon. Uh, me and Mac 10, we're gonna go see a man about a dog. Not literally about a dog, but we're gonna go have a meeting with this dude. So it gives us exactly six hours to get this little challenge sorted. And um, I love doing this kind of thing now. We're just down the beach. Look at, look at where we are right now. We're having a fire. We're having a fire. The water's boiled in a billy. There's no way to, better way to start a day or to have a coffee than when it's boiled and cooked like this. So we're gonna bring the noodle rod out of retirement. The noodle rod hasn't been used in a long time. We'll start fishing with the noodle rod. If we can't land fish with the noodle rod, we might have to step up the game. It's extremely sharp reef. There's a big swell right now, high tides. Nothing is in our favor, but it's not gonna stop us from having a little bit of fun. And the aim of the game is to chuck a fish on this fire and then the next one, well, what, what, what have we got now? We've got like five hours and bloody 50 minutes or something. So um, let this challenge begin. As soon as we get this bloody liquid gold inside us, we are gonna be on. And here she is coming out of retirement. This is the noodle rod. If you guys are new to the channel, this is what I call the noodle rod. It is an ultra, ultra light fishing rod. One to four pound. It's like super light. Like this is for catching minnows. It's not designed for the fishing that we're gonna be doing today. But you know what? I like to push things to the absolute limit and that's what we're gonna do with this rod today. One to four pound fishing rod. We're gonna be fishing at the back of these super sharp reeves. We've got a fair bit of swell. It is just gonna be mayhem, but it's gonna be super fun. Let's see if we can get the biggest fish possible on this tiny little rod. And um, I'll run you guys through why I've chosen this place to fish. It looks, it looks absolutely bloody incredible. Here, we'll go and have a look right now. So have a go at this for a beautiful little fishing setup. What we've got here is you've got this nice little shallow reef, which runs where my finger's going onto the inside there. But on the back side of that reef is a beautiful big deep hole. So there's a big deep hole there. What's happening is you can see the water. The water's draining off this reef and it's getting sucked into this big deep hole. So ideally what I'm gonna be doing today is flicking that little lure into that big deep hole. The fish should be sitting on the deep side, catching all the little bait fish that are getting sucked off that running water. So we're just gonna be piffing lures around here to start off with. If we don't have any luck, we're gonna walk all the way up the coast there, or we're gonna punch all the way up the coast there. But this looks like a good place to start. Big deep hole, shallow reef on the side, draining tide. It looks really, really good. All right, 8, 16 in the morning. We're about to lob the first lure out into this hole. Imagine if we get first cast hookup. Woo! All right, let's do it. Hey! All right, first lure to hit the water. Oh, come on. Looks good, looks really, really good. Yeah, that's gonna taste how good. Whoosh. Woo! Hey! 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 Woo! Oh, that was a bloody good cast. That's gonna get eaten. If that doesn't get eaten, I don't know what's wrong. Come on, eat it. Come on. 
Well, that spot looked incredible, but we had absolutely no luck. Time check, it is 8.39 right now. I didn't get one hit, I didn't get one boof on that little lure. So what I'm gonna do is, because time is not on our side, we are literally fighting the time today. Sometimes it can take an entire day to catch one fish, and we've got less than six hours right now. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna start walking up the coast. We're just gonna punch up the coast. This could be a struggle, man. To get a fish, it could be a struggle. I'm gonna load the fire up with firewood. We're gonna lock the car, and we're just gonna hoof it. Just with this one fishing rod, see if we can get ourselves a fish on the deck. It's gonna be a long walk. There's a lot of spots that you can't fish. We've just gotta find little pockets, little holes in the reef. Flick the lure in there, and fingers crossed we get a big dog. But um, I'm gonna load this firewood, this um, fire up with some wood, and we're gonna go for a big walk. We've gotta get a fish on the deck, doggies. It's gotta be done. We'll get it done. Now this has gotta be one of the weirdest things I have ever seen on the beach. Look at this, man. Listen, listen, listen. Somebody or something has brought a gas bottle down the beach here. They've left it here. Look at that, that's ice. They've just left a gas bottle running on the beach. That is so strange. There are no footprints. Oh, there's a couple of footprints here, but they look old. That is so weird, man. It's just leaking gas. What is going on? That's all ice. That's so strange. That is the weirdest thing. All right, that's strange. We're just gonna keep pushing along the coast here, trying to find things to fish. That is the weirdest thing. I don't get it. Hey! Oh, that's in the danger zone. That is in the danger zone. This is a really, really hard place to land a fish. Big, sharp reef everywhere. It's gonna be a mission. It's gonna be quite the mission. What was that, dude? We just got absolutely pummeled on the noodle rod. Look at that. Something just bit us off straight away. I cast it out here into that deep little fluffy water there. Bang, we just got smoked. All right, we're gonna have to step up the rod. I'm gonna have to run all the way back up there to the car. All right, now we are stepping up the game. We've got an Ocean's Legacy Dreamcast, throwing a little Ocean Legacy stick bait and a beautiful little Stella. Nothing can stop us now. I'm gonna flick back out into this hole, see if we can get whatever that was, because it was our big dog. Hey! 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 Oosh! Oh, that's a fish. All right, we have got a fish. I think that's a, all right, we've got a fish. That thing just came up and smoked it. I've got a big, shallow, sharp reef out the back there. We've got to get this fish past that. Go, 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 pump it. <laughs> pump it, pump it, pump it. I'm run here, go. We've got fish on. This could be breakfast. This could be challenge, challenge conquered. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go down there, go, don't go down there. Come around here, buddy. Come around here, buddy. All right, this is a crucial part. We've got a fish on here. We're gonna bring him up on this wave. Oh, please stay in hooks, please stay in hooks. Bring him up, bring him up. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that is what it's all about. That right there is a beautiful, beautiful tailor. Very, very nice way to start the day. Time, 9.30 on the dot. So we've got breakfast sorted, it's only 9.30. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. That Ocean's Legacy Keeling stick bait. That single hook has just got him perfectly in the side there. Look at that thing. That is going to go straight on the fire. Beautiful, beautiful eating fish fresh. Have a go at him. 9.30 on the dot and we have got dinner sorted or breakfast sorted. All right, I'm going to put this guy out of his misery. We're going to start walking back. We'll fish on our way back to the fire. Hopefully the fire's all good. Yes! Look at this, man. Oh, you wouldn't believe it even if I told you what just happened. I'm walking back down there on the coast. Got the beautiful, beautiful fish here. I'm walking back and I'm like, what is that on the beach? There's these big pieces of like, this random like bent up mesh all over the beach, washed up on the beach, tangled up in cray line. And I just got the Leatherman out. I've cut this beautiful little square piece of mesh. And this is the mesh that we're gonna slap the fish on. We're gonna sit it over the fire like that. And um, that is gonna be our breakfast for the morning. I'm gonna let this fire pit it down a little bit more. It's, this fire's been roaring the whole time we've been gone. Got these two big beautiful logs on here. 
So what's gonna happen is, we're gonna grab this epic, epic piece of mesh which I've just cut off the beach from down there. Once this fire chills out a little bit and it turns into a nice set of cooking coals, what we'll do is we'll just literally just bang, we'll just bang that straight on there and we're gonna cook the fish whole on top of the fire with these incredibly good bloody views. And while that fire pitters down, I'm gonna go back out there and see if we can have another flick where we fished earlier this morning, see if we can get a fish. The time is only 9.50 in the morning. So we are flying. This challenge is bloody flying along. I'll chuck that fish there. Beautiful little bit of mesh. That's a fine, that is a find and a half. I'm gonna keep this in the car forever. All right, let that fire pitter, pitter down. We're gonna go for another flick out there quickly, see if we can get a fish just for fun. Out here. We got waves crashing. Let's go over here. Right, we were very, very rudely interrupted by that wave just then, but what I've done is I've taken the guts out of the fish. It is a beautiful, fresh piece of fish right here. There are no scales. It is beautiful and nice, clean. The guts have been taken out. We're going to chuck it straight on that fire right now. Look at this. Doesn't come any fresher than that, really. That is the freshest fish ever. Oh, here comes another wave. One, two, three, hello. That's bloody beautiful. We're just gonna go bang. Actually, what we'll do is we'll bring that closer, get rid of him, bring him in there. This could possibly stand up there. This little bit of mesh. Oh, stop it. Look at that. That is absolutely bloody beautiful. All right, I'm just gonna see what we've got in our drawers here because plain fish is good, but if we can put a little bit of flavoring on the fish, we've got baked beans there, that ain't gonna help us out. What have we got here? We've got a little bit of curry powder. These drawers are extremely skimp right now. If you haven't noticed, me and Mac 10, we haven't been uploading as many videos as we want to because um, we are flat out like lizards drinking, man. We're busy doing other things to make these videos better for you guys in the future. But um, that's why I've got nothing in here. I literally, a little bit of olive oil, but all right, we've got olive oil and curry powder. I don't even have salt or pepper in here. That sucks. But you know what we can do? We can work with that. With a little bit of curry powder, with a little bit of olive oil, and that is all we've got right now. Olive oil and a kombucha bottle. Oh, I know, I don't understand. Let's go. Curry powder, olive oil, that is all we've got right now, but that's okay. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab the fish, just gonna put some cuts through the fish's back. Number one, it's gonna, it's gonna cook a lot quicker if you put cuts in the fish like that. So we're gonna put cuts on each side of the fish. Beautiful, fresh, look at this man. Big, juicy pieces of meat. All right, so each side of the fish, it's got big slices in it like that. Now what I'm gonna do is, a little bit of, uh, we'll go olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. Just rub it in and on the other side. Just give it a little bit of, a little bit there. Curry powder. This will just give it a little bit of flavor, you know. Curry powder on one side. Curried fish on the fire for breakfast. Time, 10.26. We're killing it. The camera's falling over. It's all good. Anyway, we're making a mess here, but that's what it's all about. There's no rules out here. Might go a little bit more curry powder, actually. This could taste phenomenal. Boom. Rub that curry powder into those cuts we put in the fish. Look at that. That is looking real good. Curry powdered fish going straight on the fire in about two seconds. All right, this fire is at an optimal cooking heat. Like, that is the most incredible cooking heat. There's no flames. We've got a big bed of coals down the bottom there. This little bloody wire mesh thing that I found, I might go get some more off the beach because that is just, that is just absolutely bloody beautiful. That's good, that's punching out a whole lot of heat. All we're gonna do is grab this big beautiful fish. Look at that thing, man. I'm gonna grab this, walk it straight over here. It's this simple. And we're just gonna go, boost. That is it. That is our fish on the fire, our breakfast. Time check, 10.43. 
We are absolutely killing it for time. That is putting out a lot of heat. Curried fish on the fire. Oh, it's gonna be good, man. We'll give that a couple of minutes. I'm gonna sit back, enjoy this view. Might even go for another flick, you know, in that little hole. And um, how bloody good. Just slowly, oh, you can already hear it. Listen to that. Sizzle, sizzle, pop, pop. Yeah, baby. Best thing about this car is this little bloody water pump. You clean all the bloody shit off your table. Look at this, mate. It's not bad at all. Thanks for coming. All right, it is about time we flip this fish. It's been on for about eight minutes, 10 minutes. You can just see here that that white is coming through the other side, which means that bottom half will be beautifully cooked. What I'll do is I'll use this knife, we'll flip it over, cook the other side. Curry fish is on the cook. It looks bloody good, eh? All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to flip it without destroying it and it's sticking. Oh, it's not even sticking that much. Look at that, boy. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? It's cooked to perfection. Ooh, look at that, dude. That side, this side that we've cooked here is absolutely bloody beautiful. This fish is done. That looks real good. The smell of fresh fish with that curry sauce, a little bit of olive oil coming straight out of a weird ass kombucha bottle. I don't know why that was in a kombucha bottle. Mac 10 does some weird things. Mac 10 sends her love, by the way. She'll be back on the scene very soon, doggies. She sends her love. Look at this. This is looking incredible. We have got golden brown little chunks of fish on that side. Let's get this off. This is gonna burn me. Let's get this off. This is bloody. All right, let's go. That is seriously hot. Have a look at this though. Time check, it is 11.08 right now, which means we have absolutely punished this little challenge. We've done it in three hours and eight minutes. Three hours and nine minutes right now, 11.09. Three hours and nine minutes. We started a brief, we've had a coffee, we started a fire, we've caught a fish, we've cooked a fish. We're about to destroy a fish. Look at this. This fish looks real good. This side is what it's all about, look at that. It's crunchy, it's cooked to perfection. Whole entire fish. I'm gonna eat this side that's just cooked because it's just gonna be hot and juicy. And look at that, beautiful white chunks of fish. Curry, curry flavor. Oh. Wow, that's real good. Well, that is absolutely bloody delicious. Big white chunks of beautiful fresh fish. Look at this, it just peels off. It's actually cooked really, really well. That is a beautiful, beautifully cooked fish. Oh, I'm gonna stuff my face. Look at this. You're kidding. Oh man, that's fresh, that's good. That is incredible. A little bit of a curry zing to it. Well, we had six hours to get this challenge done and we hit it on the head in just over three hours. That is what it's all about. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna destroy the rest of this beautiful, beautiful fresh curry fish. And I'll see you guys in the next video on the next adventure. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Look at that. There's not much meat left on there, boy. That was bloody beautiful. What a way to start the day. I'm out of here.